good day America Value Spin and welcome in today's vlog. And today's content is about the strength and the weaknesses of Filipinos. So Filipinos have been known to be friendly, kind, cheerful by other foreign people. But right now let's find out the point of view of Filipinos. So I'm going to interview people but because of pandemic or the COVID-19, I'm just going to interview my relatives or people within my reach because it's so strict to go outside or to, in, uh, to other places. So let's go and find out. Filipinos are always happy during hard times. Filipinos are always happy during hard times because of their sense of humor and it's part of their culture. Habit naman sa mga Pinoy ang magmalipayon ta. Since simple lang ang butang. Nito, nito ang mga mga Pinoy nga. Bisan, unsa kalisod ang problema na pag rason para mo smile ta. Para ma-solve ang problema. Nga nung ang mga Pinoy kay family oriented or grabe ang value sa family. Hmm. Ang... Um... Pinoy, no, ang Pilipino. Nature yun nila, ang culture na gina nila. No, ang pagka-family-oriented. Kay pagka-bata pa lang yun. Kaduan ang tasa itong parents. Isa ang pag-respect. Kaya, mahadok sa gino. Kung, taga pa sila, gitulong sa ito ang mga disiplina para lang sa itong uh, kayuhan niya. Kung sila sa daan na, na, ang Pinoy is familiar yun, Ted, kay magdungan dyan sila o simba, magdungan o kaon, ano man, danaw sa lida. And, uh, most ligid sa tanan is, ang uh, nag-inigumahigid sila sa usag-usagin niya. Mas maglabi ng pagkapasailo ay ba? Kaya, dili sa gila, mas sila mag-away. Hmm. Uh, kung mag-away man gali, at least magkabalik pag hapo. Magkaayaw, magkaayaw. Good day, I am Ashley Mayer Queno and I interviewed a few individuals regarding our chosen topic which is the strength and the weaknesses and I am assigned to focus on the strength of the Filipinos. These interviews are conducted within my household and others are con uh, conducted online because of our situation which is the pandemic in which I need to conduct them in another way possible. And here are the replies that I have collected during my online interviews and my family members reaction or opinions regarding the presented questions about the strengths of the Filipino people. We Filipinos considered as one of the happiest people because we have positive outlook in life amidst difficulties. We flash our smile to foreigners easily. Filipinos tend to smile the most. Hi, Vincent, to answer the question, why are Filipinos considered as one of the happiest people? Well, because Filipinos have more positive outlook to life we tend to always look on the positive side and every negative situation and our happiness can be attributed to faith, personality, and culture and having strong family ties also gives us a sense of happiness not always about the bigger things that makes us happy it's always about how we perceive and bring out the best out of everything and to answer your question I value my family members the most because they are my important people and they will be my support system forever and I love them without them I won't be standing and without me I'm Hi, I'm Jensa and to answer your questions or my opinion about it they're saying that Blood is thicker than water. You can replace friends, relationships, and meet different people every day. But family is a replacement. Hi, I'm April Kyle Erequano, and I, my answer to that question is that I do believe that having faith in God is important, but it should work together with our own actions, and we should take responsibility of it. Thank you. So I believe in the saying, uh, bahala na because there are things in life that you cannot solve alone or you cannot find answers to. So you just leave it to the Lord Almighty. Hello, my name is Andrea. And to answer the question, how can I easily adopt into new circumstances or new environment? I think the reason why I can easily adopt into new environment because I let myself to observe a lot 
and I do not rush myself to change rapidly because that is so impossible to happen. And also, I let myself to embrace all the possible changes that may come and I am not afraid to ask questions whenever I am confused into something and that would be all. Yes, I certainly believe in the saying that we should leave it all to God. So, because I believe that um, in every circumstances, God has reasons why uh, He gave that to us. He gave that problem to us. And the best thing that we should do is just believe in Him and trust. This is Lasser and Expedito Jr. P, second year student, currently enrolled in GE Ethics. So right now, I'm going to ask some persons that I know about their opinions in Filipino moral behavior, which is lack of self-discipline. So check it out. Even though they know what is right, why do Filipinos still choose to do what is wrong? Well, people still choose what is wrong. It's because of the influence of other people's opinion. A lot of people want to share their perspective about a, a specific situation, but then are scared of being judged and criticized. Sometimes, choosing the latter is better for other people because they ponder on what is good for everyone. Why do Filipinos always tend to make an issue in social media like wearing of revealing clothes? Majority of the Filipinos are close-minded and I think it's already written in their minds that wearing of revealing clothes is not decent. And for me, people judge us by the clothes we wear. Like for example, wearing of backpack shorts, sandals, dresses, or anything that shows too much skin. Um, they will describe you as slut. Because Filipinas have crab mentality, they like to bring people down in order to satisfy their ego and pride, um, pretending to be so conservative, we're in fact very judgmental. That's all. Hi, my name is Joshua Arcatalan, and I'm from 6047 class. So our topic is mainly about moral behaviors of most Filipinos. So the task that I've given to me is to ask further and to know deeply about the, the opinions of others in terms of weakness of behavior of lack of discipline of most Filipinos. So first interviewee is Maria Carla. She is a BSA second year student at the University of San Jose Recoletos. So the question that I had given to her is what are results of the Filipino lack of discipline. So, her, her response is Filipinos' lack of discipline often results to a negative effect on a person's life and everything around them. They tend to just listen to what they believe and what they think is right for them, but it's not good for others. Lack of discipline also causes misunderstanding with other people. So, the second interviewee is Roberto. He is BSA first year student in University of San Jose Recoletos also. The question is, how can Philippines solve lack of discipline? His response is one of the effective solutions that our beloved country can provide to address the concern regarding the lack of discipline of its citizens is to tighten in imposing the country's rules and regulations, especially the law. As time passes by, we can observe that the government we have are not Imposing the law well to its people and purpose of these laws all are also being slowly forgotten. So I believe that uh, I agree also to his stand that these rules and regulations has been disregard, re disregarded for um, most, of, most of the times. So the third interviewee is Kapolse from. She is a BA Polsai second year in University of San Jose Recoleros. The question that I, that I had given to her is, why do some Filipinos are undisciplined? Her response is, some Filipinos lack of discipline, mostly because lack of strict law enforcement. Lack, strict, lack law enforcement may be a result of excessive display of familial connectedness. Throughout her life, she often heard her peers says, my tatay akong police, or of the same sort. This enables them to skip on some opportunities to develop 
their sense of discipline. So that is her stand. So the fourth interviewee is Ernst Samuel. He is a BS Pharmacy in University of Southwestern University. So the question that I had given to him is, is that how disciplined Filipinos are. He answers, I would like to say Filipinos are slightly disciplined and more likely about 55%. When it comes to following certain rules in the community, they can be naturally disciplined or disciplined because they were told to. Most Filipinos have the tendency to commit ignorant mistakes whenever they feel like particular thing they are about to do is time-consuming. Example, segregate, segregating trash, trashes and make them anxious like telling the truth. So the last interviewee is Joanna and she is a BS nursing in University of Southwestern University. So the question that I had given to her is, do you think many Filipinos are undisciplined? Why or why not? She says, I don't think Filipinos lack discipline because I notice overseas Filipinos follow the rules which are strictly implemented. No bribing like palakasan. The law applies to all regardless of your background. So, but it can change with proper implementation of policy, she added. Especially if the punishment comes with a high fine. So, she added also that who wants to pay for breaking the law anyway? So, personally, um, I believe that strict implementation and proper guidance for us Filipinos in a, that so that we can enable to improve our discipline especially in some other certain things like um, what Samuel said segregating trashes and telling the truth so that's it thank you